We came here in 2018. Pigs here were absolutely out of control. For us, it was a huge impact, A for the sheep, but B for the cropping. And when money's tight, you need to keep every cent in your pocket. Hi, I'm Kim, and I'm at Kamu in our Northern Tablelands property. Been pretty much a grazier all my life with sheep and cattle, and so this is the pasture we're in at the moment. The support from LLS was amazing. One, we didn't have really a, a pig trap, so we got a pig trap. Two, we didn't have an idea of the countryside and what what to do, how to do it in here. You've got to learn about your land. This is what happens and this is how we can do it. So that information was fantastic. Because you're busy, you know, you're flat out. And if you've got someone else that can support you with your needs and help and ideas, yeah, it's, it's imperative. So back early days, we worked at, so this was probably early 2000s. We'd lost 25% of our income. Hi, I'm Ellie Keat, Senior Biosecurity Officer with Local Land Services. There's been a consecutive few good seasons in the Inverell area, which has made the feral pig numbers really explode. So yeah, I've worked closely with Kim, who was seeing huge impacts from feral pigs in her pastures, predating on lambs, and also causing damage to infrastructure such as fences and coming into her sheep feeders. When she was starting to see those impacts, uh, local land services came out on site, worked with Kim, assessed the damage and made up a plan of how we could best attack the situation. You know, now Kim's not seeing the impacts with the pigs coming into her feeders, less tracks and her next step moving forward is to, with the exclusion fencing and just continue with that ground control, whether it be baiting, trapping or shooting. I think it impacts everyone. So from that point of view, from a neighbour point of view or anyone point of view, pigs are an impact. But the better your fence, the better control and the less pigs you've got and therefore your dollar is in the back pocket and you can do something with it. So has Paul been going to be trapping back over here? Yes, I expect now that he's, we've got a lot out of this area that I think that the majority will come over that way. Yeah. And that area and that area over there will be the two areas that are going to be where we're going to have to concentrate in the future. Feral pigs reproduce so rapidly, so no one control technique is going to get the population down low enough to eradicate them. We really encourage you to reach out to your local biosecurity officer. We can assist you with aerial control programs, ground control programs such as baiting and trapping and we can also loan out pig traps and provide our subsidised bait products. Without all of the support and all of everybody's input we wouldn't have learnt what we've learnt and we wouldn't have been in the situation we're in now with less pigs and the degradation so much less. Very lucky to have the support of all the community around us and the LLS.